A solemn gathering in Kabul. Families of the two Afghan aid workers killed received their remains. Ten bodies were found in a remote northern province. A medical aid team had just finished a two-week mission when they were accosted by gunmen. The Taliban had claimed responsibility. We are heartbroken by the loss of these heroic, generous people. And we condemn in the strongest possible terms these vicious murders. We also condemn the Taliban's transparent attempt to justify the unjustifiable by making false accusations about these aid workers' activities in Afghanistan. The aid team was part of the International Assistance Mission, a Christian charity that insists its members do not try to convert Muslims. Terror has no religion. And these acts are rejected by people all over the world, including by countless Muslims here in our country, in Afghanistan, and everywhere else. In New York, friends of Tom Little, the team leader, say it was faith that motivated him to help others. He did that as an expression of love. He did that as an expression of uh, his, the power of God in, in his life. In the UK, Karen Wu's close friend said she hopes her friend's death will call attention to other groups doing difficult work. Now this acknowledgement has come about, it will help us remember to appreciate the other humanitarians who are working very hard right now. The charity says it has no plans to leave Afghanistan. Diane Kepley, The Associated Press.